Hey guys, this video is for you if your finder keeps freezing on you, okay? And if you're getting that beach ball of death all the time, um, yeah, this this will help you out, okay? So let's start off. Uh, there might be a lot of reasons, but let's just go over how you guys can maybe fix them, okay? So we're going to go over software and then hopefully it's nothing to do with hardware. So let's just go into system preferences. Now, if you guys don't see that down here below, don't worry. Just go up here and type in system preferences. So just type in system and right away you should, should see system preferences and from there just open it up and here okay this is with some of you okay it's not gonna work for all of you and this is on the latest version of Mac now on the older versions it's pretty much the same it just looks a little bit different okay so just go into your iCloud and on your iCloud I want you guys to turn it off and on okay so just turn it off and then sign back into it okay so that's in your iCloud which is right here as you guys can see and just make sure to turn that off and then back on afterwards okay that's step number one step number number two is sharing so if I'm going to my sharing so once again sharing's right here so if I go into my sharing you guys will see that I'm filing sharing okay so I am sharing files and what I want to do is actually go into options. So right here is options. And under options, you guys will have to turn this off. Okay? So don't worry. You can still share files. This might just be getting in your way. Okay? And that's why you might have some problems when you're sharing files. Um, and also with Finder Game Stock, right? So let's just click OK. All right. Uh, remember, after we do all this, reboot your computer and see what happens. If everything's good now, you guys are set. If you're still having problems, then let's do the last step, which is in Disk Utility. So type in Disk Utility up here. Open it up. Now, this is on the latest OS. That's how it looks like. If you are in the OS that's a bit behind this one, El Capitan, um, don't worry about it. It just looks a little bit different, but you have to do the same steps. So right here is first aid, and on the first aid, we're just going to scan everything, okay? And then just go press run, and this will take a while, especially if you're doing it for the first time. So this will check if you have any errors, and it's going to repair them as well, automatically, okay? So when I tell you to verify your disk, this does it. Uh, when, when you see tutorials that tell you verify disk permissions, this is the way to do it. Um, if you have the older version, OS... Don't worry about it, you guys will see that you have an option to verify disk permissions and you have an option to verify disk, okay? In El Capitan, everything's simplified, it just does it automatically, it verifies everything. And yeah, that's the way it should be. It does take a little bit longer because it's doing everything at the same time, but do that, okay? So again, we're verifying our Macintosh HD. Now, you guys can click on the first or second option, or try both. You can do one after the other. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. It's it's just a partition from your main disk. So right now, we can see that there were no errors. Um, you guys might see that you have a few errors. If your Mac could not fix one of the errors that you guys get in here, then uh, you might have a hardware problem so you're there might be something wrong with your hard drive and you might have to switch it up now since you guys are already having problems I highly suggest that this time go into system preferences and right here we all have time machine so right here you see time machine it's right beside accessibility okay so time machine you guys should right now go and purchase an external hard drive Sternware hard drives are good, you know, purchase a 1 terabyte, 3 terabyte, something like that. They're anywhere from $60 to a good one that's $200 for maybe a 6 terabyte or even 8. So I wouldn't really worry about price. If your files are worth that much, then go and spend that money. If you don't care about your files, then whatever. But you guys should get an external hard drive and set it up with Time Machine. Time Machine backs up your entire computer. So it doesn't just back up your files, it backs up your programs, preferences, everything that's on your computer. So if it does crash or you have to transfer everything from this ex from this hard drive, if you end up changing it, um, you can just make the Time Machine backup and then just load it up on your next computer and there you go, you just transferred everything over. I do have a video that shows you how to do that. 
really simple. I just make the backup here, load it up in the other computer, and that's it. Everything gets transferred. It takes, depending how much information you got, it could take a few hours, a few minutes, okay? Usually, a few hours. Anyways, so, that's Time Machine. Make it. Uh, don't forget to restart your computer, and once you restart your computer, you guys will see that everything should be working fine. If you're still having problems, let me know. Maybe I can help you out. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.